out of all the terms that I have to use because of what I do, tactical is the one I hate the most. Like, I hate saying tactical flashlight unironically without cringing to let you know that I don't approve of the term either. Really tactical anything. With flashlights, I much prefer the term a fighting flashlight, and I'll often say a proper fighting flashlight. What am I talking about? Like obviously a flashlight that you would fight with, but there are certain features and qualifications that a light has to have for me to think that it's suitable for defensive use or tactical use. Is the PowerTac E9R suitable for any of those things? We're gonna unbox and review this light. But that's, that's not really how you use a fighting flashlight. It's supposed to be used like, you know, you get your inside position. This adds so much, it, does, and it doesn't take much. I don't have to go crack like I'm trying to break a board. It could be as simple as bop, 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 bop. You know, just, they won't like it. Just going in your teeth. And then all the while, each time, right, it's boom, bop, bop, boom, bop, bop. You flash, you bash, you dash. Now, full disclaimer before we get started, this video is sponsored by PowerTac. They provided the light and are sponsoring this video. They take it for what you will. Um, I don't much care about that sort of thing. I'm more passionate about flashlights than I am about money, so I will do my best to present a clear and unbiased review. Am I supposed to be? I should be filming this unboxing. This jammy comes with a holster. You gotta have a holster. But, uh, and a charging thing, and not much else. Well, that was sort of uneventful. Um, we got a lanyard. Uh, we don't, I don't really use those. A fighting flashlight can be a duty light or a concealment light. It's just a light you can fight with. So I gotta figure out, because I'm beginning to think, based on its design and based on its features and based on what all it says on the box, which if you want to check out, like, the the nitty gritty, like how many ounces it weighs. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can go click that link and check out the, the numbers. But we're gonna talk about more about feel, experience, you know, impact, how hard I can hit with it, and the other features that make this or don't make this a proper fighting flashlight. The whole thing is very, it's all metal. And it's like, it's grippy, it's knurled. This thing is gnarly, but I want to take the lanyard attachment point off. I don't need this. Maybe you want that. I don't need it. The pocket clip is cool because it, it does move, right? Like maybe you might be like, why do you want the pocket clip to move? Because I want options. That's a big thing about a fighting flashlight. I don't need it to move a lot, but I need it if I want it, depending on where I want it in relation to the buttons or the controls, and I think... You can flip it around the other way for bezel up. I won't need that either. Magnetic charging cable, which I'll probably use that to see how that be like, but it has a little jammy, a little rubber. Behind this rubber here, I think there is, I'm gonna break this light. Should I read the manual? Comment down below, do you read the manual for any of this stuff? And has it ever bit you in the butt to not read the manual? There we go. If, and I'm sure there's a better way to do that, which I'll get in there, there is micro USB behind there. Push that down, you plug that in, so that covers it, and now you've got the magnetic, which if you wanna be faster and use that, but if you don't have access to that, you can just go with micro USB if you need to or if you prefer. A lot of people would prefer USB type C and I get that as a lot of my stuff still has that, but a lot of my stuff still has micro USB. So I think we've still got a little more mileage out of that and it's like, like you've got a ton of cords anyway. This guy here is a blue light. I bet when I connect it to this, this turns red. That's what I imagine. It did not. Oh, this turned red. Oh, we've got a little eye of sore on here and I would bet, maybe I've done this a few times, this probably turns green when he's done. Uh, I'll get more familiar with the features. The main thing that makes me like this, as I said about the pocket clip, is not everyone likes the same stuff. It's got a ton of modes, which uh, this is gonna be more experiential. I'll talk about the lumens and how much they are, but more about like what each level of lumens does to a person. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's bright. I don't believe in strobe 
strobe is unnecessary, but if you're into that, it's got that, and I like that I don't have to do a bunch of multiple push shenanigans, like soft push plus three hard pushes to get to it. I just push that, and that's always strobe, and I push that, and that's always the mode that I picked. That's kind of how I like it. You know, just because we're adding more buttons doesn't mean we have to make it more complicated. As far as what modes it has, if you just start out, you've got like what they call firefly mode, which is like nothing, next to nothing. This is you don't want to give away your position at night, but you need to see something in the dark. You can go up one to low. This would be a normal amount of light if you just had this in a toolbox, uh, just to do normal stuff. Medium is 270. Now 270 is knocking on defensive use lower limits. We go up one more to high, that's uh, like 1100 and something, and then up even one more, and that's 2200 something turbo. And at those two upper ones, this tends to get hot kind of quick, and it runs the battery down faster. Which, speaking of the battery, something that's uh, super interesting about this guy is it takes the rechargeable one, this big bohonkin thing here, but it's got a little thingy in there where you can also put in two lithium batteries, two little one, two, threes. So I like having the option so you don't have to choose because some people are like, I love rechargeable because I'm a poor or I like to just be able to stick a bunch of batteries in there. That's usually people that don't pay for those batteries. They like to just be able to stick fresh batteries in every time they go on an op. The only change I would make on the way the buttons are configured is I would like to be able to take out the strobe, which is 790 lumens. I, I just don't need the strobe. I would like to be able to program this like to 270 and maybe put this on turbo or vice versa. Put this on 270 and this on turbo. I'll probably leave it on 270 all the time. I just don't need the strobe. It doesn't have as many defensive uses as people tend to think. I, I, it just, this is, this is worse. That's, ah, that is worse than being strobed. And it helps me see them better when I just do that. But let's, let's charge it, take it out at night, break some shit with it, and that sort of thing. Are you gonna be now? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to, he's waiting for his night vision to adjust. All right, he's waiting for his night vision to adjust. I'm not gonna lie, Chris got to get a little closer. <laughs> yeah. Well, your depth perception's all messed up. Yes. Yeah, he never saw that kit. Yeah. He never saw that. It could easily have been a groin kit. You know what I mean? That's hard. <laughs> professional MMA fighter, professional boxer. It's, now there are ways to. A lot of shit going on right now, right? Huh? There's a lot of stuff going on. Like right? little dots, little green and red. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's, not a, it's not a quick fix. It's not like a guaranteed win. There's ways to defeat it. I don't think I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna share it because I think that would benefit way more bad guys than it would good guys to do. I tried to adjust, but by the time I'm trying to adjust, I'm Well, yeah, because what, what is the, that's what fighting is. And I'm glad Cliff brought that up. Hey, y'all, quiet on the set. This is Clifton Davis, professional MMA fighter. What happened when I flashed you? What did you just say that you had to do? I had to adjust. And you shouldn't be doing that. Like in any fighting context, what are we normally trying to do? Make the other guy adjust to what we're doing. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like right. we're trying to, you try to funnel your opponent to what you want to do. I want to keep it at a mid-range, hands-off sort of, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Unless I'm ready to grapple. This helps me do that. Whereas it forces them to address this first before you try to, run my pockets or get to my goodies or whatever. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. It doesn't turn green. It turns blue. It's definitely function first. That's what they went with first. A lot of times I think companies that make these things shy away from putting too much grip enhancement to make the light look better, to make it prettier. But they put knurling here and here, which I think a lot of companies would have skipped on. And they've got this little ledge here, not a big fat lip, but just a little ledge there and that gives me a pretty solid grip on this thing and I feel like I could hit harder with this than some other flashlights without experiencing too much slippage or discomfort. So I think I'm gonna break some boards with this. Typically I don't like breaking boards with flashlights or small impact weapons like this. It's harder than people think. It's, it's a little nerve wracking. I don't feel a ton of confidence. But this one feels like just the right size that I could really wreck some stuff. And the head of this thing is pretty reasonably crenellated. 
which is a, a phrase that I never ever thought I would say, but I don't like anything that looks too crazy. You know, these are just enough that you could concentrate a lot of force and impact and do a lot of damage to whatever you're hitting without looking crazy, without looking like a tactical flashlight of death plus three. Fighting with a flashlight, a lot of people get something in their hand like this and they want to just like mollywop the guy with it. That's not really how it works. What works way better, just give me like a target to hit. Like just keep your fingers out of the way. What works way better is like, like quick jabs. Now under duress, people tend to try to hit real hard. That's why it takes training and practice. You might think it's kind of silly to train and practice hitting stuff with a flashlight, but if you carry a flashlight in a violent job, like you're a bouncer, security guard, bounty hunter, repo man, police officer, corrections, whatever, you kind of need to practice this. So uh, I'm gonna break a couple boards with it just for funsies. Yeah, something that I like, like same thing as hammer fist, but you gotta, you gotta, you can be no give. Y'all know I'm a, a diva about my board holding. I need, no, I need, there we go, I got right? You, got you. Like that. I think I could put this thing quicker than when I did the coupons and the pens and stuff. Oh, God. I chicken out, I chicken out, I chicken out. Ooh, but imagine if that was your flesh. Like, look at that. You know, that's what it did to this uh, B grade pine right here. Lean into it, nope, you can't move when I hit it. Turn your head. Flex, flex. Oh man. It was kind of high, right? Yeah, here. yeah. No, just let Nate hold it once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. you get, you get too. He's, he's doesn't know to. He has no sense of self-preservation. Shitting on me right now. Huh? I have self-preservation. Whatever. <laughs> you can't even say it. You don't have it. Preparation. Sense of self-preservation. Stop looking at yourself in the viewfinder. Lock your arms out. All right, I'm ready. Turn your head. Do I need to hold it high? No. Okay. Lock your arms out. No. You need to follow instructions. Is what you need to do. Go ahead. Lock your arms out. Lean Sweet. forward a little bit. Turn your head. Now, when I hit this, that shouldn't happen. Okay. There can be no give. Stiff. Go again, stiff. Stiff as a board. Go ahead. That's pretty good. Go ahead. But I gotta do my part. Yeah. I gotta blast through this thing. It's like 100% mental. I always mess this up. It takes me a couple times to get, like, wrap my brain around really hitting it. <laughs> oh, man. I did not give. No, you did pretty good. I'm checking it out, though. I'm hitting it and sort of stopping it. You gotta go, is it still working? Yep, still working. Oh man. Damn. Ow. I don't know if that's a pure something, but I'll, I'll say, look at, look at the marks it left though. That's definitely like cut. But you're, you, you're hitting it on a curve. Try the other side. I think it's my board holders. I'm telling you, it's not. I didn't give you any give. <laughs> you gave give. That's how we did it. That's how we did it last time. We did it with pens before, dude. With pens. If I did it with a pen, I could certainly do it with this. That's good, you got it. Mm -hmm. You in a rush, you got somewhere to be? Oh, not power. Oh, you're trying to hype me up. Yeah. Not rush me. It oh, felt like it felt like you were just like, all right, come on, dude, let's go. No, so come on, you got you power. I was like, come on, you got it. But y'all just sound like you're trying to get out of here, not like you're trying to hype me up. No, yeah. I, okay, how? Let's go. Let's there go. go. You got <laughs> my voice too. So you got it. Hep. Yeah. Hep. There you go. Okay, that's how I told you, man. Power. Now break this one. Put it up there. Boom. Right through. Hit that. That's what it is. It's the board holders. Board holders fault. I could break a board. It's easy. With this? Especially with some metal. You think you could break it with this? Yeah. Easily. With a holder. Oh, you could break it with me holding it, no problem. Dude, give me whoever you got. Give me Maddox. <laughs> Maddox. I'll break it. Maddox can't hold it. Here, Matter of fact, give me Cliff. No, Cliff's a terrible board holder. Cliff's like literally the worst board board holder ever. Alright. This won't break on me, huh? No. I guess. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Well, uh, you, you, you hit and stopped. Oh yeah. You okay. hit and stopped. All right. You got to blast straight through it. You hit a little high. Okay. Do a couple like dry runs. All right, you ready? It's a board holder. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you with it this time. Don't, what is this? Oh, you trying to, trying to sneak a shiv, <laughs> shiv in here on me, man? 
<laughs> Especially if you're using this for like professional purposes, unless the person's in that moment trying to kill you, you're usually not justified in doing that. You know, if you're just trying to subdue somebody. But if you get into a little tussle, uh, the guys are grabbing my shirt or jacket or whatever, we get into this kind of stuff. You know, I can hit him to dislodge him, or if I'm too tied up and can't hit him, this adds like leverage. You know, me pushing him, pushing him here, I'm not gonna move you, right? You're bigger and stronger than me. If I can't get a good underhook or I can't dig what I want, but if I've got this and I just start applying this to wherever, and it doesn't have to be a pressure point, you, you <laughs> big fat neck beards, it doesn't have to be like this and make him poop his pants he, he or here and you get paralyzed or whatever. <laughs> you know, I just knock you out with liver spleen 16 or whatever it is. Yeah. That's not it. Pressure point, I mean literally applying pressure to a specific point and making him move. We're fighting and you're snatching me down and you got me like this and I just start pushing on you like that. That hurts, right? Yeah. And then if I make a little space and I hit, hit, get to my other shit. But ultimately the moral of the story is that fighting with a flashlight is fighting with a flashlight. That means I can't just not know how to fight and add a flashlight to my hands. He's gonna grab my, yeah. You're, it, I need to know how to fight without the flashlight in order to make fighting with the flashlight work. Boom, bah! Oh, gosh, but that's the deal. That's the, the PowerTech E9R. I'll put a link down in the description below. Got a lot of options, got a lot of customization ability. Is that? I don't think that's a word. I don't think that's a word. You know what I meant.